Hey guys, let's get more news from Lakers, but first don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Lakers News, Los Angeles Targeting Trade for Young East All-Star The Los Angeles Lakers are aware they need, well, something, following a brutal 4-1 first-round series defeat at the hands of the Denver Nuggets. Although LA led most of the time across those five contests, they couldn't preserve their frequent double-digit advantages by the time the final buzzer sounded against the reigning champs. Now, it appears the team is poised to put together another big three triumvirate with a point guard who will take the ball out of LeBron James' hands too much and doesn't play defense. Is this a bad case of deja vu, or is this actually an idea team president Rob Palinka is seriously entertaining? According to Jovan Buha, Shams Charania, and Sam Amick of The Athletic, Los Angeles is considering trading to acquire all-star Atlanta Hawks point guard Trey Young this offseason, in an effort to bolster his three-point shooting punch and playmaking around James. Brian Windhorst of ESPN reports that he's hearing similar rumblings. Los Angeles has three tradable first-round draft picks it could include in any deal, plus the contracts of intriguing young talents like Austin Reeves, Rue Hakimura, and D'Angelo Russell, although the team will likely want to hold on to Reeves, who signed a generous, below-market $53.8 million deal to stay in Los Angeles last summer. Young is a bit of a mercurial figure. He does not seem to be particularly well-liked around the league or often by his own teammates, as his is a heliocentric offense that frequently freezes out others. There is, however no denying his talent. Could he thrive alongside All-Stars James and Anthony Davis? Perhaps, but he is a risk, and the team would struggle to supplement a core of young, James and Davis with the kind of versatile, three and D wings LA would need to truly compete with talented, big young squads like the Denver Nuggets and Minnesota Timberwolves. With the Lakers getting eliminated from playoff contention and LeBron James reportedly opting out of his player option, it's possible we saw the last game of the LeBron Anthony Davis pairing. AD, however, is adamant the duo still has a lot they can accomplish and said as much during his exit interview on Monday. I feel like we complement each other, Davis said. We've done something special together. The good thing about it is I'm going to be with him all summer. So, we'll have a lot of conversations and things like that. He knows how I feel about him. He's been in this game a long time. He's, in season 21, he's been in this position a couple times to make these types of decisions. If he asks my opinion whenever we talk about it, I'm obviously going to try to recruit him back. But ultimately, he's old enough where he's going to make a decision, whatever's best for him and his family knowing that his time is limited in this league, only a couple more years left. His goal is, obviously, to win. I feel like we can do that here but, ultimately, it's how he feels and what he decides. AD will spend all summer with LeBron due to their Team USA commitment as they try to win gold at the Paris Olympics. Team USA has often been a petri dish for stars to mingle and come out with a super team. Davis knows this from his time with Team USA back in the 2012 Olympics and is clearly going to bend James ear this summer to keep him in purple and gold for the fall. This isn't the first time LeBron has made a decision on his career with the world watching and Davis will be there for his partner in crime regardless of what he does. He's been in this position numerous times in his career where he had to make a decision, ultimately for himself and his family, Davis said after Game 5. Me right there supporting him whatever he decides to do. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's not even on his mind right now. I'm pretty sure he'll come talk to me, tell me what's going on before he comes public with the decision just to keep me in the loop. Obviously, it's been a great five seasons with him. If he does decide to come back, this isn't where we want to be left at, losing in the first round. If he does, obviously our goal is to come back and be a championship contender, stay healthy and give Lakers Nation what they deserve. But he has a decision to make and when that time comes, he'll inform me, inform you guys. 
The good news for Lakers fans is it seems in all likelihood LeBron will re-sign with the team. However, once he opts out, he'll be completely unrestricted and you never know if he finds another destination alluring and decides to leave. So, no matter how confident one is that Braun will return, until he signs on the dotted line, you have to do your best to convince him to do so, and it seems AD is on board with that. LeBron James could push to reunite with former head coach. Darvin Ham's future with the Los Angeles Lakers is far from secure. He failed to build on his team's Western Conference Finals appearance last season, and the Lakers showed no signs of building an identity this year. Furthermore, his consistent chopping and changing of the starting lineup reportedly irked senior roster members. According to an Eastern Conference executive who spoke with Sean Devaney of Heavy on Sports, LeBron James could push the Lakers' front office to poach Ty Lue from the LA Clippers if Ham is relieved of his duties. If it was all up to LeBron, he'd have Ty Lue as his coach and he would do that with the Lakers, the executive said. That's his guy. Out of all the coaches LeBron has ever had, the one he singles out is Ty. Now he is in a position where he has free agency on his side and he can maybe force the team to do something to get his guy if he gets fired. Lou and James won a championship together in 2016. Lou is also viewed as one of the smartest coaches in the NBA, especially in terms of excess and OS and in-game adjustments. He would likely develop an identity for the Lakers and get them playing at a high level. Of course, it would help that Lou would walk into the team with the back of its best and most influential player. Whether the Lakers would be able to acquire Lou is another story. The Clippers would undoubtedly play hardball. Their head coach has another year left on his contract after the front office triggered the one-year extension in his deal. James' future is also unknown after he refused to comment on whether he will remain with the Lakers next season. However, if he does and Ham is fired, it will be interesting to see which direction the front office goes in terms of the next coaching hire. Lou would undoubtedly be the ideal candidate. Unfortunately for the Lakers and LeBron, he may be one of the only coaches that's out of reach, at least in the upcoming offseason. Charles Barkley defends Darvin Ham, Lakers suck because of the players. Charles Barkley is tired of everyone making Darvin Ham the fall guy for the Lakers' first-round loss to the Nuggets. The Hall of Famer believes the lion's share of the blame must go to the players and the front office that put together the roster. A lot of these people on television are cowards, Barkley fumed on Wednesdays inside the NBA on TNT because they want the players to like them. They don't want to do their job, which is to tell the truth. Anybody who thinks the reason the Lakers suck is because of Darvin Ham, or that the Suns suck because of Frank Vogel, you don't know what you're talking about. Darvin Ham is a hell of a coach, trying to get his career started. The Lakers and Suns suck because of the players. It has nothing to do with the coaches. Whoever put those trash at teams need to get fired. Ham hasn't received much support in the media, but his peers have had his back. After the Nuggets bounced the Lakers out of the playoffs, Michael Malone spoke glowingly about Ham, stating that it would be unfortunate if his fellow coach lost his job. According to multiple NBA insiders, Ham is set to be replaced as Lakers coach heading into the 2024-25 season. Ham signed a four-year deal worth $20 million to become the Lakers' head coach in 2022. If he were to lose his job, the Lakers would have to pay out the remainder of his contract through the 2025-26 season. And you fan, what do you think of the Charles Barkley situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.